In this video, I'm going to be explaining how you can stop worrying about other people's opinions so that you can live your life happy and free. Welcome back to another video. I'm Maximilian. I have entrepreneurs who program their mind, empower their life for happiness, fulfillment, abundance, success, and confidence. You name it, I do it. How can we stop worrying about other people's opinions? Other people's opinions hold us back. Their opinions are opinions, they are not facts. So I want to give you the exact step process of how to stop worrying about their opinions. Step number one, very simple, very easy. Assess your circle. Who are you around right now? Who are those that are around you that are lifting you up? Who are those that are around you that are dragging you down? Who are those that are around you that are really loving and kind to be around? And who are those that are around you that really make you feel bad about yourself? If there's someone that makes you feel bad about yourself, get out of there. You don't deserve that. You deserve all that is good in life. But you're not going to get it just staying there. So here's a quick and easy way that you can understand how you can physically assess your circle and say, these are the people that are true, true, true friends to me. If you were having a meal with a few people that you didn't know too well, let's say you, you had a new, you're in a new relationship and you're with a family, uh, with their family and you're out for a meal. Out of all of your friends or friends that would walk past, how many of them would you invite over to the table, introduce them and maybe even get them to sit down and um, enjoy a meal with you? How many people could you confidently say that you would do that with? Because I guarantee you it's not as many people as you thought that you had in friends in your life. And that's not a bad thing. That doesn't mean they're bad people. That just means they are not your close, close friends. And in life, you don't need multiple friends. You don't need loads and loads of friends. You just need a few really good friends to help you through things. You need a few really good friends that can be there for you, help you grow, and be the best person that you need in your life. Not necessarily they're going to be the person that's going to actually physically push you to do stuff, but they're going to be there for you no matter what's going on in your life and no matter what's going on in their life. Step number two, stop being vain. People don't care about you, they care about themselves. So I'm joking about being vain, but all seriousness, we worry too much about what people think about us. They're too much worried about themselves. They really, really don't care. Now, taking this back when I have really bad anxiety, social anxiety, when I would go out, let's say I would go into a pub and I would open the door and I would hate walking into a pub because there'd be so many people that would stare at me. Now, my immediate thing was, oh, they're looking at me. They think this, they think that, oh, what if they think this? What if they think that? Oh, am I looking good? Am I doing this? Am I doing that? What, what is wrong with me? What is wrong? I would start to work myself up. Now, logically speaking, the reason people would look to a door is because there's movement. That's literally it. If there was traffic and a, a car came flying past, it's movement. So it's natural we're gonna look at that. It's catching our attention. So understanding that people are more focused on themselves, they're probably were thinking very similar things. There's a lot of people thinking very similar things. So don't get me wrong, I understand, I get it, I empathize with it because right now, when you walk in somewhere and people look at you, if they're judging you straight away, that shows who they are as a person, straight away. Happy and kind people don't judge people. So if they're judging you, get them out, sling your up, get out of my life. Don't need that in my life. And I'm sure you don't either because you, quite frankly, watching this video are amazing. Get rid of those people. Get rid of those people. Just get rid of them. That's sort of touching on the first one as well, but really just understanding, don't be vain. No one cares about you as much as you do. No one cares about you as much as you do. Maybe your mum, maybe your dad. Not my dad in my case, but my mum. <laughs> They, no one cares about you as much as you think, trust me. If you ask them what they thought, they'd probably be like, oh yeah, no, yeah, I, I recognised him from somewhere. I recognised her from this place. So that's why I was looking at her, or I was looking at him. It's really, really not as bad as we think it is. We all, our, our mind naturally goes to the worst case scenario because it's easier for our mind to do that. If you've done that constantly as well, your mind is going to naturally do it. It's never going to help you, it's never going to serve you. So understand that you need to stop being vain. You, you, you. Get it? Got it? Good. And again, that's not a dig, that's not me saying you're vain. That is just me saying people care about themselves more than they care about you. That's just real. Step number three. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Stop waiting to make that Instagram page. Stop waiting to make that YouTube channel. Stop waiting to run that business. Stop waiting to ask that person on a date. Stop, stop, stop waiting. There's never gonna be a perfect time. There never is a perfect time. Actually, that's a lie. The perfect time is right now. Right now. 
right now. Every second that's gone, right now. That new time is now, right here, right now. Stop waiting for the things to be best. You're never going to be the best because every second you're going to be better. Every second you're going to get better. Now you have that choice. You could wait 10 years and start that business or you could start today, then 10 years from now, have 10 years worth of experience and expand that business. There's never a perfect time. Just get started today. And just as that quote goes, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to one day be great. It's so true and it resonates with me so much because I understood that even if I mess up for the next 10 years, I'm still going to have 10 years experience rather than someone who's just reading about this experience that I'm going through. Just jump in. Do what I did, right? I was nervous when I first started social media. So nervous. I didn't even tell my family. That's how nervous I was. I didn't tell anyone. Didn't put it under my face. I just started an account. When I started putting it under my face, I was worried what people would say. Then when friends started following me, I was like, oh my God, what are they going to say? What are they going to think? Oh my God. Then when they started following me, that immediate anxiety kicked in. After a while, it started to go away because I was like, well, if they don't like it and they're really going to hate on me, then are they friends? Do I need them in my life? No. Is it more difficult when it's family? Sometimes. But if they're not going to support you in the nicest way possible, not screw them because if they're, if they're in your life and they're part of your life, then yeah. But if they're negative, if they're toxic towards you, if they're like they're your family and they're like toxic towards you, they are disgusting, horrible and mean towards you, then unfortunately they're the cards that we've been given in life. And we all get de dealt different cards. No one has a specific card that says you have got it better than anyone else. We've all got our own problems. All of us. But just get started. Please get started for your sake, not my sake. Experience will always trump knowledge. Always. Always. So just get started. Just jump in. If you mess up for 10 years, fine. You've still got another 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 years after that. Who knows how old you're going to live? It may be that long, but it could be in 10 years that you're gone. So don't wait to start. Start now and succeed one day, but never give up. That's the biggest thing. Never, ever, ever give up. That was the biggest thing that I had to learn. And I got the tattoo. I don't know if you can read it. It says prosper there. What is truly meant for you will not pass you if you stay on the right path. So you can't say, I want to be a multi-millionaire and then lay in bed all day. You can't say, I want to be with the love of my life, but never go on a date. You can't say, I want to be the kindest person, but never give anything to anyone. Your, your actions must align with your thoughts and your feelings. Once you align thoughts, feelings, emotions, and actions, you've hit the quadruple. You've done it. You've won. And you deserve it. So, hope this video has given you some inspiration. Hope you can change your life, and I know you can change your life. You watch this video, you're here to change your life. That is why you're watching this video, specifically. So I know you've got it. I know you've got it in a bag. So do it. Keep going. Get started today. Don't waste another minute. Don't watch another video. You can wait and watch my videos later, but pause this video now or once it's finished. Then go and get started on whatever it is. Just research something. Just start something. Just type that, that first paragraph that you want to type. Have an amazing day. Keep smiling. Keep spreading love, kindness, and so much positivity.